Hi everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel and today we are going to be closing up the head like this. So remember to like, subscribe, comment down in the comment section below and we will get right back to you. Okay, so we'll continue extruding going out. We'll select these edges here and we'll just push E for extender and extend. We keep going. We'll stretch these. Remember to hold down control to make them straight. Position them T on the keyboard. We continue moving, going out like this. We we'll continue till we follow the whole shape of the head. At this point where I've reached, I have to follow uh, the lines that I make on the back of the head should be the lines should match up with the lines that are in front of the head. For example, if I make a line right here, like so, that simply means this line has to match up with one in front. So I'm following the number of uh, edges that are in front and I'll make them at the back. So like here, you count these and they have to be the same number as the ones at the back. because you have to keep in mind, you will have to merge them. Okay, I'll stop from there for now. And what I'll do is I'll select these edges here and I'll extrude I think there's one I don't have to select this one okay and extrude then we extrude then I'll try to fix these points select these two points and merge them and I'll try to fix some of these like just straighten them up Okay, let's not temper too much with these though. Okay, so now what we're supposed to do is fill in the gap in the side. So I'll select these edges. Extrude them. Bring them out like this. Okay, so I'll just make it align the one on top and I weld these two points select these edges again extrude again and same thing we will merge these two points I'll go to the back I'll select these edges as well here Extrude and I'll just stretch them out a bit, align them with, with a line on top. And weld these two. Okay, now we are remaining with this gap. So what we'll do is I'll turn on the wire texture, select four points and push P on the keyboard till we fill in the gap. So when you push P, you create a polygon. Okay, done here. So the polygons are flipped, they look inside. So push F while selecting them. So that they face out. And yeah. So at this point, what I'll start doing now is straightening up, making the head look round, uh, fixing some of these points, pulling them in out, dragging some, just to make things look right. This takes a bit of some time. So I'll just speed this process up but I'll leave it for you to watch
and after all that tweaking and moving of parts and all that we came up with this and well at least it looks a bit round compared to what we had at first it's much better it looks like a head okay bye bye see you in my next video